this is my 10th lecture on primitive roots and indices and here i'll just give you a quick recall to what i've done in my previous video we have defined an integer n we have found a corresponding primitive root and please note that for every integer we do not have a primitive root only when n is 2 4 p to the power k or twice of p to the power k where p is odd we can have a primitive root i proved these results in my previous video now let us choose an integer a whose g3 with n is 1 so we are interested this a is appearing in the exponent of r so we will call this k as index of a with respect to the primitive root r or we could have denote r time r to the power of index of a as congruent to a so basically index of this a is the exponent that will relate th that will hold this congruence true or you may say that will relate a with respect to this primitive root we did certain properties in my last video these properties are very much similar to the discrete logarithm problem so index of a b product of two integer is same as index of a plus index of b index of a to the power k that is k times index of a and index of 1 is 0 and index of r is 1 so now we solve this question 4 times x to the power 9 congruent to 7 mod 13 using indices here we notice that n is equal to 13 and i select 2 as the primitive root for 13 as i know that 2 is a primitive root for 13 you can see my previous video for calculating uh, the primitive roots because 2 to the power 12 is congruent to 1 mod 13 and for any smaller exponent i find that 2 to the power uh, the smaller exponent k is never congruent to 1 mod 13 this question is irrespective which we select as a primitive root we could have also selected or let's say 6 is a primitive root of 13. So I will solve this question twice. One, I will show you the calculation when I select 6 primitive root, uh, six as a primitive root and when I select 2 as a primitive root. So this calculation or the solution does not depend upon the selecting primitive root but it depends upon the uh, how we apply the properties and the answer that we get for the congruence is same. So now once I selected the primitive root, let me to find the index of an integer a whose gcd with n is 1. So of course a will vary between all those integers which are strictly less than 13 because here n is 13. So I want to know what is a and what is its index. So here I will find index of a with respect to primitive root 2. So a can take possibility 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. These are the integers that are relatively prime with 13. And to find their indices, uh, let's calculate all this exponent with the primitive root r. So this will come in some uh, exponents. Let's see that 2 to the power 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I know 2 is a primitive root. So 2 to the power 12 is 1 mod 13. So this means index of 1 is 12 because 1 is appearing in the power of 2 and the exponent is 12 and the exponent is what is what we call as index so this is 12 now continue doing like this 2 to the power 1 is 2 2 to the power 2 is 4 with respect to mod 13 this is 8 3 this is congruent to 6 congruent to 12 find the least integer with respect to mod 13 2 to the power 9 that is 5, 2 to the power 10 this is 10, 2 to the power 11 this is 7. So now see this again, index of 2 is 1, so I will write here as 1, index of 4 is 2, so I will write it here, index of 8 is 3, so this is 3, index of 3 is 4, so we continue doing like this writing this completes our table for the calculation of the indices now i want to solve 4 x raised to power 9 congruent to 7 mod 13 so apply indices on both sides when we apply index with respect to mod 2 on both sides 4 raised into x raised to power 9 this is congruent to index of 7 with respect to 2 mod 13 okay so this is a product of two integers let's separate them use the index property so this is index of 4 with respect to 2 plus we can further use the second property so 9 exponent will come out 
and we have index of uh, x with respect to 2 this is congruent to index of 7 with respect to 2 mod 13 now we can see from our chart index of 4 is 2 so let us replace this 2 plus 9 times this is a variable at this moment keep it as it is index of 7 this is 11 you can see that this is index this is integer so we replace this by 11 uh, and here also please keep this as mod 12 uh, because the moment we consider this as uh, a conversion into mod li this with respect to mod li now will turn into phi n so this is mod 12 okay so now we got 9 times index of x with respect to 2 which is congruent to 9 mod 12 cancellation 9 on both side use the congress property so this will change the mod li as well index of x with respect to 2 this is congruent to 1 mod 4 okay now because it will divide it by gcd and the remainder uh, remaining integer will remain here now index of x should be congruent to 1 so we have all the list of indices look which satisfy this so obviously index of x with respect to 2 can be 1 1 is congruent to 1 so index 1 is this one then we can have index as 5 if i take 5 5 is congruent to 1 this will satisfy this i can take index as 9 these are the three possibilities among the index that we have calculated and they satisfy this congruence star once we know the index which is satisfied we can look back what is the integers correspondingly index is 1 5 and 9 which satisfy this and there correspondingly x we can say that this is congruent to 2 5 6 mod 13 so th this is the solution for the congress that we are looking using the indices so whenever x is 2 5 6 this will satisfy the congress now let's repeat this question and find an alternate solution when i choose 6 as a primitive root instead of 2 so now alternatively i have selected 6 as a primitive root and on the similar way i have constructed this table so looking the exponent of 6 to the power 1 which is congruent to 6 and then reaching to 6 is 12 6 to the power 12 which is congruent to 1 mod 30 so in between i find all these values and i complete this table once we complete this table we get back to our congress 4 times x to the power 9 this is congruent to 7 mod 13 this is what we want to solve so apply indices apply indices on both sides or we can say take index on both sides so we will have index of 4 plus index of so 9 will come out index of x and then we have congruent to index of 7 and then we'll have mod phi 13 that is mod 12 and here my primitive root this is with respect to 6 so index is with respect to 6 so index of 4 you can see from the list this second row is giving me index and index of 4 4 this one you can see that index of 4 with respect to 6 what is index of 4 with respect to 6 that is 10 so replace it by 10 plus 9 times index of x congruent to index of 7 that is 7 mod 12 so now we can take 9 times index of x congruent to take 10 on other side that is 7 minus 10 which is congruent to minus 3 but we try to keep this as a positive so this is further congruent to 9 mod 13 because uh, minus 3 is congruent to 9 um, 12 sorry so 9 mod 12 so here you can see that we got 9 times index of x with respect to 6 is congruent to 9 mod 12 and this allow us that we got the same type of the congress okay this is congruent to 1 mod 4 so this is exactly the same one and again we can see where this index uh, is congruent to 1 with respect to 4 so again 1 and then we'll have 5 and then we'll have 9 and you can see again 2 5 6 these are the solutions that we are getting so we we said that index of x this is possibly could be 1 5 or 9 and this will imply x is congruent to 2 5 or 6 mod 13 so these are the possible 
solutions for the indices so here you can consider it as and because we this will be considered as a solution this is also a solution this is also a solution for our given non-linear congruence 